Good morning, 5.34am. I'm down at a place called Putty Beach with another YouTube vlogger, Colin Stalker. G'day, Colin. Say g'day. G'day, Ben. G'day. Uh, Colin invited me up to the Central Coast to come and do a shoot with him this morning. And he lives up in this area, so he knows it pretty well. So we've come to a place where there's all these beautiful tessellated rocks and these patterns in the rocks. And uh, hopefully we'll get a good sunrise. A fair bit of cloud in the sky, I don't know if you can see that. So that'll either do one or two things for us. It'll either hamper our efforts to get a good sunrise or it'll give us some nice colour, so we'll see what happens. So we're gonna get set up. Uh, we've still got about half an hour before sunrise, which means we've got plenty of time to find our compositions and get sorted and work out exactly what it is we're gonna shoot. <music> got a composition and uh, very very precarious position right near the edge but it's gonna work just need to move everything I was running around like a madman um, so here I am the uh, Fujifilm perched right on the edge of the cliff here so let's hope nothing crazy happens I don't think uh, I don't think it will tripods pretty sturdy so wh what I'm doing is I've got the camera down nice and low and I'm sure, I don't know if you can see those shapes up in front of the camera there, but the idea is I'm, I've got that line, there's two rocks joining, and I'm using the line and there's a whole bunch of series of lines on the edges of the rocks. They, the lines seem to be closer together, so I'm using that as my, my, my uh, hero foreground, if you like, to draw your eye into the picture, and then hoping that I get some color on the horizon. So my setup's right here on the edge here, a uh, long drop down there, which would be a bit precarious if I was to fall over there. I don't think uh, I don't think Cole would be able to come down there and save me. Sunrise is, let me have a look now, is right now. So it's 6.018 a.m. Sunrise is right now. The, the sun is rising over here to the east. As you can see, absolutely zero colour. Uh, so I'm just making the best out of this situation. So I'll just talk you through my composition. You can see I've got the GFX set up there. And that is the, the back of the screen giving you a live view of what my composition is but essentially something like that where I've got this this circle here so this one in the foreground I've got that line going across the image and then this circle here all that texture what I was hoping for was that I'd see some color come up over there and obviously that hasn't happened this morning the challenge with this is not only does it change my depth of field with that focal length but also having a medium format sensor means that I have a bigger problem as well with depth of field so I am going to try some photo stacking and just see what goes on, some, some photo stacking. What am I saying, focus stacking. So let's do that. I've set up the focus bracketing on this to take six shots and um, the interval of one second and I'm doing uh, the focus spacing of 10. Um, I'm just gonna put the timer on and then I'm gonna let it do its thing and see, see how it goes. Because I'm so close to this rock, with this 45 mil lens, I want to get it sharp from front to back. And to be honest with you, I haven't done a lot with focus stacking before, uh, but the D850 has the same feature and I've never used it really properly. So uh, I thought this has got it and I definitely need it this morning or I'm not going to get everything in focus. So using the focus stacking is going to make that happen. Um, because there is no light, the colors in the sky just aren't there. The only thing that I can really do to get a good shot this morning or get something that I'm happy with, I'm not going to say I'm going to get a key because I don't think I will, um, but I'm, I'm out here, I might as well enjoy myself. So I'm really filling you know, two thirds of the image up with this rock in the foreground and hoping that this soft light, uh, because nature's diffuser is out at the moment in the sky called clouds, um, so I'm getting this soft light and uh, if I look through these images, I still don't know if it's doing the right thing with the focus stacking. Well, that was interesting. I just had to do a reboot by pulling the battery out and putting it back in. It just froze up. Live view on, I couldn't do anything. Uh, which, <laughs> it's been fine. So I don't know why it did that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna try another one with this focus stacking. That's sharp in the foreground. Okay, so definitely that focus stacking has worked. It'd be nice if it numbered them for you 
when it did focus stacking, I told you that it was out of a focus stacking sequence. All these wishes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the good thing with Fujifilm that I found with their cameras, because I've, I've been shooting Fujifilm for a long time, is you get a lot, of, um, a lot of firmware upgrades. They're always doing them. And it's, it's actually really good. I wonder if it needs a firmware upgrade. I haven't even checked, to be honest with you. I should do that when I get home. Anyway, oh, I've had enough of this position, being right close to the edge and risking my life and my camera. <laughs> it's not very comfortable. So I've just moved to another location. Uh, you know, it's well and truly past sunrise now, and unfortunately, the uh, the colour that normally you see with sunrise there was pretty much none. So uh, it's a matter of really filling the frame up with rock now. And I've got this beautiful composition with a line going through it. All the lines in this rock uh, tell a story, I guess, of years and years of erosion by the sea. And you know what uh, what I'm trying to capture here is that in my image. Uh, the biggest challenge is obviously depth of field, so I'm playing around with the focus stacking on this, but I'm, I'm, I'm having a small problem still with the, the camera deciding to uh, freeze up on me when I'm trying to preview my images to see whether or not everything was sharp. So I'm just shooting all six and hopefully getting the, the entire image sharp. It, I can see it in the preview as it takes each image that it's definitely doing it. Um, but yeah, just struggling a little bit. I'm going to try... I've just shot that at f16, so that should be more than enough and should be stacked beautifully. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, get out there and take some photos. See ya. This video is proudly brought to you by the On Three Legs VIPs, very important photographers. If you'd like to become an On Three Legs VIP, head to patreon.com slash on three legs to learn more.